Hey, what's up, Anafinex? AJ from AndroidRoots.com. With me are the Samsung Galaxy Nexus GSM. And today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Stack 4.2 Jelly Bean on your Galaxy Nexus, the uh, RAM version. Um, I already have the unroot method. You can check out those annotations right there for the unroot method as well. If you just want to unroot it, but this is the stack method. So uh, this is recommended for people who already have the uh, clock or my recovery already installed on their device. And they just want to install the stack RAM without actually unrooting their device and rooming clock or my recovery and all that. And this is the hassle, much easier method. So as you can see right now, I'm on 4.2. I'm just showing you how to get it. So let's head down to file manager and show you what file you need. And as always, I have a link in the description below where you can download this. So just click on the link in the description below. It'll bring you to the download page or the link or the step-by-step -step guide. Just download the zip file. Uh, no need to unzip it. You can just transfer directly onto your phone or download to your computer and then transfer onto your phone. It really doesn't matter. The easier method is obviously just downloading onto your phone. Much easier. But if you do download onto your phone, uh, make, uh, make sure to check in your downloads folder that it's there. Because that's where it usually does uh, go default. So make sure you have Clockwork Mode Recovery already installed on your phone. If you don't, then uh, you can uh, check those annotations up above somewhere right there. How to get Clockwork Mode Recovery for both Mac and Windows. So once you get that all set up, we're going to power off our phone. And let it uh, power off until the screen shuts off. And I do want to let you know we're going to be doing a factory set. So keep in mind that it will delete all your apps, contacts, all that, all that good stuff. Um, it will not delete your pictures or music or movies, nothing like that, but make sure you do back it up before you start this process. So when we're on this screen, we're going to be pressing the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power, but keep pulling the volume up and volume down. So all three, vibration, let go of power. Now press the volume up twice, and this is going to enter into the recovery mode. So give it a few seconds till it boots up into there. All right, now we're going to be on here. Let me zoom in so you can give her a look at that. So first thing we're doing, like I said, we're going to be doing a factory reset. So wipe data size factory reset, select that. Um, if you're on the nine touch version of Clock My Recovery, just use the volume up and down and power button to navigate. And select the us 10 star to wipe it. All right, now we're going to do wipe cache partition and select the us. Now advanced, wipe Dalvik cache, and select yes. All right, so after the Dalvik cache is done clearing, we're gonna go back, which I'm already here, and now we're going to install Zip SD card, choose Zip SD card, and yours might have a folder or not, mine's in this folder, so I'm gonna be in here. And as you can see right there, I got the uh, Big C right there, the Big C stock RAM 4.2 right there. I'm gonna be selecting it, and selecting install. And this installation process will take about two minutes, so please be patient. Um, so wait two minutes and it'll be done. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the installation is complete. So all we're going to be doing is go back and reboot system now. Now this reboot will take about five five minutes max just because you installed the new stock ROM and you did a uh, factory reset. So be patient. It'll take about five minutes. And then once it's done, you will be able to set it up. So I'll wait till uh, you see the animation right there. So I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so now we're on the, you know, setup screen, so I'm going to skip through all this. You can obviously just set it up, because we are done. I'm going to head down to settings, and show you that we're on uh, stack 4.2, and this already comes pre-rooted, which is awesome. So you don't have to worry about uh, rooting your phone anymore, and you still have Clockwork My Recovery installed. So much easier method than actually unrooting your phone to 4.2, but there's always an option, just in case you want to send it back to Google. But this method is not safe enough to send it back to Google. This is just safe enough, so you can use it and still install custom ROMs and have a rooted phone. So let's head on settings, about phone, and there you go, you got 4.2 Jelly Bean right there, um, straight from Google, fresh off of Google, and when you keep pressing it, you obviously got the uh, little Jelly Bean, hold it down, and you can play with these little Jelly Beans as well. So that's how you install the RAM version of stock 4.2 Jelly Bean on your Galaxy Nexus GSM only. Uh, do not try this on Verizon or Sprint because you'll probably end up breaking your phone, just be aware of that, only GSM. Uh, i9-250. That's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. It helps me out a lot. And you can be notified for more videos like these, RAM reviews, and much more. And uh, give me a big old thumbs up as well if you found this video helpful. I will see you next time. Enjoy.